quick stop at the pawn shop. They were asking eight, but we picked this up for six bucks. Shop showing love again 1955 for six Nintendo Switch games. I'll show you what they are back at the crib. We made two separate pawn shop stops and we came across seven different games. Let's check them out real quick. Elden Ring for the PS4. They were asking eight bucks for Elden Ring. I asked if they would take six and they said yes. So they charged me $6.50 after tax. We're gonna add this to the collection from software. I have no desire to play this game, so this is one of those games that's going to sit on the shelf for a long time until I look up one day and decide to go ahead and sell it off. But it does have a PS5 upgrade, so that might that might get me to, to keep it for a little longer and, and maybe someday play the PS5 version of Elden Ring. They were selling this at Bookman's for 36 bucks. I'm not sure what it goes for, well, I will be once I edit this video, but I'm confident it's going for more than $6. Now at the second stop, I was checking out the rack of games, uh, all the PS4 games, and the good people behind the register said, hey, I have a bunch of Switch games. Um, so out of maybe 10 games, these were the six that we ended up getting. I had some PS4 games in my hand, but I just left them there. And I don't know, I just decided just to go with these. I'll probably double back and get those PS4 games this week, but let's check these out real quick. Oh, wait a minute, before we check them out, $19.55 is what we paid for these six games. The more I think about it, I don't know why I didn't get the other, the other I think it might've been five or six more. I should've just, just give me the stack for 40, bro. First up, we have Gigantosaurus the Game. This is by Outright Games. They made The Last Kids on Earth and The Staff of Doom. We had picked up a bunch of copies of that a while back. Uh, they also made an Adventure Time game that we have, so I'm pretty sure this is what they specialize in. Fun kid games for the Nintendo Switch. We'll keep this one. All of these games we're gonna hold on to because the last one that I'll show you is gonna pay for the lot. B Simulator. Become a Hero. It's pun for the whole family. This is another one that we're definitely gonna keep. Um, when we will play this, no idea, but we'll hold on to B Simulator. Mortal Kombat 11. Now, I'm pretty sure we've come across this previously. In fact, this might be, this might be one of them ones we already have. Let me check real quick. No, we do not have Mortal Kombat 11. So we're gonna add Mortal Kombat 11 to the collection. I played MK11 on PS4, but not on the Switch. I don't play any fighters on the Switch. Man, I don't play any fighters. <laughs> but oh, Smash Bros, I always forget about that as a fighter. But MK11, we're gonna add to the collection. I've heard nothing but bad things about MK1 on the Switch. Heard great things on PS5, but I've heard it was terrible on the Switch. I've seen just a lot of bugs and glitches. Maybe this would be the last good Mortal Kombat game they make on the Switch, and we can say that it's part of the collection. Destiny Connect TikTok Travelers, the Time Capsule Edition. Did I get all of that? Did I say, did I say that? One take wrong. We're gonna add this to collection. Again, we're not selling off any of these games. We're keeping all of them. Let me know in the comments if you played any of these games that I am showing you. Now, the Nintendo Switch is a, it's an interesting console, right? Like, I, I have a Switch and we've had one for a very long time, but I have not played much on the Switch. Still playing Kings of Amalur, 
Kings of Amalur, I believe is how you pronounce it. Now the thing about it is I only play it when I'm on the road and I haven't been on the road a lot lately. Why am I still holding this in the air? So with the Switch, it's just a matter of if I'm at home, I'm playing the PS5. So all of these games, they might be the greatest games ever. But if I'm at the house, I'm not usually playing the Switch. Switch rent. Let's check out the next game. Ukulele and the Impossible Layer. This game looks very, very colorful. We'll play this one day. Again, we're gonna have to get some travel in. Once we, once we travel, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's the holidays. We're gonna have to go out of town. The Switch will get a lot of run. We might even pick up one of those little new handheld joints that they have to make the Switch feel more like a Steam Deck. Because, yeah, it's not exactly comfortable. Now, the last game that we picked up is the game that's gonna pay for the lot. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's one of the few Switch games that I do play. Been playing Mario Kart since Super Nintendo, man. That's this game has been around for a long time. That's absolutely wild. This past summer, we played a lot of Mario Kart uh, with the new courses and all of that. It is crazy how much you rely on muscle memory on some of those older courses and got to learn something new. I was getting smoked. Button is a lot better than me at a lot of these games. I have to, I have to admit it. When it comes to these Nintendo games, Smash Brothers. She'll use, she'll use uh, Seamus and just destroy me. Um, Mario Kart, she tends to get the best of me on these quite often. I, and I'm, yeah. But she won't see me in, in 2K, right? Not that I even play that anymore, but <laughs> I don't want to compete against her anymore, man. Let's, let's play The Last of Us together. So this game goes for about 30 or 35 bucks. We already have this as a part of our collection. So we'll go ahead and get this listed and pay for everything else we picked up today. We'll even have a little money to put into the bread box. That's what we're calling that. We're not calling it the game fund anymore. We'll have a little change to put into the bread box. But this game is the game that's gonna pay for everything else, which is really cool, man. We get to add six games to the collection for, you know, whatever it cost me to drive out there. I also got into a little wreck that day. Somebody, somebody like hit me while I was sitting at the light. He hit three or four cars, bro. Like, what are you doing, man? What are you, what are you running from, bro? Responsibility, accountability, you not going nowhere. But yeah, he smacked like three or four cars. So it cost me that, that headache. It's not even a headache. It really, I got insurance, I'm, I'm such an adult. I got insurance, man. Good luck to you. Out of the seven games that we picked up, which one of these is your favorite? What is something that's already a part of your collection? Maybe something you've even played through recently. Um, Mario Kart 8, like I said, is one I played through. Out of these other six, I don't even know which one I, which one I'm gonna go with. Maybe maybe B Simulator, because it's just maybe the most different. I mean, there's a game here about gigantosaurus so who knows if this is the most different this is the game i'm most interested in elden ring i have not played any from software games no souls games no souls like games i just don't feel like getting my ass kicked when i put in a video game and i know when i play in this video game i'm gonna get my ass kicked but at some point i gotta play one of these games and i don't know why but I think this will be the one that I would try out first. Now, if this is not the one, let me know what From Software game I should play. I probably should have asked that before I started selling off a bunch of them, but I'm sure we'll come across them again at some point. So if you played Elden Ring, let me know in the comments, is this something I should start? And is it gonna just take all of my time? Look at this game. Mature for violence, blood and gore. Suggestive themes, language, violence. Violence is on here twice, bruh. Or is that maybe a different language? And they just spell violence the same way. Yeah, that's what that is. That's gonna do it for this week. Thank you for taking the time out to watch. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video, and turn on the bell for notifications. Until next time, guys. Go.